For this video, I wanted to talk about the negatives of buying silver, not just here in the UK, but in general. So let's talk about it in today's video. So before I start, I just want to say that I have no bad feelings towards silver. I love silver. I buy silver and I'll continue to buy silver. So even though I'm going to be discussing some thoughts that might necessarily you might potentially not agree with, uh, it's some of the things that we have to cover anyway, because um, shying away from the negatives of buying silver is uh, potentially being, um, you know, is possibly put you in hardship if you were to sell it in the short term. We're going to cover that in today's video. So when you buy silver bullion, when you buy all this sort of stuff, you will pay the tax, you will pay the, the premium, depending on where you are in the world. But when you buy this sort of stuff, you will pay the spot price, which is around about 18, 19 pounds. Uh, uh, let's say $20 or so and then the money on top of that you will potentially can recover if you was if you chose to resell for example if you uh, bought a Britannia for let's say £29 from a dealership here in the UK you could potentially sell it for 26 27 on the secondary market now that's a loss of two pounds in the short term if you had a lot of, of a lot of these let's say you had 10 then you're going to potentially lose a little bit of money. Now, this is where it comes to how important it is to hold this sort of stuff for a while. Now, the reason why you buy silver is uh, entirely up to you. Many people have their different reasons of why they buy it, why they hold it, whether that's uh, they see it as an investment purpose or whether they see it as a wealth preservation uh, purpose or whether they just like uh, buying just silver you know the his the history behind it like this 64 kennedy um everyone has their different reasons but uh for this video i wanted to talk about the negatives of buying it specifically now when you buy silver compared to let's say gold silver is volatile however silver has performed better than gold trouble is, is if you buy this sort of stuff with an intention to sell it for a higher price, no one will predict the market and know what that higher price will be. So potentially if you want to invest, then gold might be an option for you, which you might find better. Uh, silver is a little bit more risky. However, it's not all bad. And silver, many would, people would consider as being undervalued. It's entirely up to you and it's entirely on your research to find out whether you like it or not. But it's also important to consider that silver will be uh, will take up a hell of a lot of room than gold. I saw a video recently where someone had a hell of a lot of silver where they got to the point where they didn't know exactly what to do with it and they wanted to trade it or sell it potentially. And I think when you have such a large amount of silver like that, you unless you're recording how much you're paying, how much you're going to sell, let's say on an Excel spreadsheet, I would say in the short term, definitely, maybe in the last couple of years or so, you will probably lose money. And I don't think anyone that gets into this would like to lose a significant amount. We are happy when we purchase items, let's say, um, stuff that we like, which is uh, this one. I have no intention of that going up in price, but I bought it because I like it. And uh, it's important to factor that in. But um, yeah, sometimes when you buy this sort of stuff, when you buy silver and everything, you need to consider that it's going to take up a lot of room depending on uh, if you're going to buy a lot of it or what, you know where you're going to store it. And that leads on to my next point is it potentially leaves it vulnerable to theft. Now, I covered that in one of my most recent videos that I saw. Uh, I saw a video. Well, no, I saw a comment from someone saying that they had their silver um, stolen. And I think it being stolen is probably one of the worst things that can happen to us. And that's one of the benefits of, let's say, gold. You can store it a lot more easily. Um, but that's not what I, I... This isn't a video hyping up gold. I wanted to talk about the negatives of and uh, the stuff to be aware of, that this sort of stuff. But, um, yeah, in terms of silver as well, uh, the, important, the important factor you need to consider is many people, uh, despite whether, you, you, you know people agree with it or not, will buy it to try and make a profit on it. Now, when you buy uh, silver, especially physical silver, the benefits is it's in our hand. We can have it. We can hold it. It's a fantastic, you know, piece that's finite. They cannot replicate silver. This is something that they pull out the ground. Once it's gone, it's gone. 
Yeah, so one of the uh, one of the cons about buying this sort of stuff, let's say for an investment purpose, is it will not produce something called dividends. Now, if you don't know what dividends are, they are a certain amount of percentage that let's say you buy a stock, let's say you buy uh, Coca-Cola, for example. Um, they are usually going to be companies that aren't focused so much on growth, let's say compared to uh, tech companies like Apple. Um, or companies that don't pay dividends because they focus all their money or their reinvestment on making that company as big as possible, you know, trying to expand that growth. Uh, so let's say you've got a, a Coca-Cola stock, they will pay a certain percentage of that dividend to you uh, in a quarterly amount. So let's say that you bought, I don't know, uh, one, one share of, uh, let's say, Coca-Cola at the price of, I think, uh, let's say it's about $60. They will pay you, I think it's like one point, uh, no, it might be a bit more actually. I think it's like 3% or something on top of that. I know that you get, let's say, a dollar fifty back um, a year and that's split up into quarters. Now that's money that you will always receive unless the company goes bust or for whatever reason, it's all on the stock market. I'm not by no means an expert on the stock market, but um, simply put, that's what dividends are. You receive a little bit of money, a little bit of a percentage of the share of the profits that they make. Now, you don't buy, uh, you don't get that when you buy this sort of stuff in, uh, with silver. Uh, there is that risk that if you was to buy it, you are accepting that potentially it might go up, it might go down, completely dependent on the market. But um, it's some of the stuff that you have to consider and it will ultimately shape uh, certain stackers in this community, how they wish to proceed with, you know, buying this, uh, buying um, different precious metals and, and what they consider to be good or not. Um, in the UK, it is more beneficial, in my opinion, to buy gold. Um, that's not to say that silver is bad because I will continue to buy silver. I like silver, but gold is, uh, you know, VAT free. So you won't pay uh, VAT on top as opposed to silver where you will pay VAT. And also you can recover back a lot of the premiums and you can potentially make a small uh, profit unless you hold gold uh, for the long term. You could potentially make a big profit. Now, the uh, gold has outperformed um, some notable uh, notable stocks, let's say the S&P 500, which is the list of the 500 biggest companies in the stock markets outperform that. Uh, so precious metals is not to be um, completely uh, completely like turned away against. There are people that don't like buying gold and silver. I like it because I like the physicality of it. I like holding it. I like keeping it. I like collecting it. I like all the history, the numismatic stuff with the Morgan dollars and everything. If you watch this channel, that you'll know that. But um, it's important to factor the the cons, especially in the short term. If you buy this, sort of, uh, this uh, stuff, this silver, uh, and you see the price drop, then selling it, you are going to be guaranteed to be losing money. And that's not something that you want um, only stack, only buy what you can afford. Um, it comes on to my next point briefly is you will see many people buy lots of silver, lots of gold, uh, lots of big pieces. Um, don't put yourself in that chase of where you want to follow them. You, you, you want to keep up, keep up with other people because everyone's situations are different. Everyone's financials di are different. Um, if you can only afford one ounce every month, every two months, every six months, whatever, what have you, it's one ounce more than what you already had before. And potentially, with its price being sort of half of its all time high, then that could be a good, uh, that could be a potentially good investment for you. I don't know. It completely depends. But try not to um, copy what everyone else is doing. Try not to let them sway you in buying more because um, if you buy more than what you can afford, then you're just going to put yourself in hardship and that's not going to be the right thing for you, I would say. But it's entirely up to you. Do your own research and uh, whatever you choose is up to you. But please, if you are to take anything from this video, then just uh, if you have bought silver and you are considering selling it in the short term, um, please rethink it. Uh, unless you want to lose money. And um, yeah, just uh, be careful with uh, 
you know, buying it, don't put yourself in financial hardship, debts and things like that. It's always beneficial to clear your debts before you buy this sort of stuff, just so you have, uh, you've eradicated those interest rates, whatever, whatever that is, a car loan or a mortgage, I don't know. Um, it might be beneficial for you to put your money towards that, but everyone's situations are different. You could potentially buy this sort of stuff um, as a hobby and just keep it little. I'm, I've only bought a small amount uh, and I've focused on my Morgan dollars, but I haven't bought much this year. So just factor that in. It's something to think about. If you did enjoy this video, then please leave a like on this video. Please leave a comment to let me know your thoughts. I'd love to hear them. And um, don't forget to hit the notification bell because we're going to be doing a giveaway uh, video, which I'm going to be releasing shortly within the next few days of uh, some more silver coins, some more silver British coins. Now, um, I did have uh, one of the winners let me know that they've received theirs. If you uh, did win, please let me know to make sure that you've got it because I can't track it because it's so expensive to track. And if I was to do that, I would have to reduce the prizes. And I want to give as many prizes as possible to you guys because you're all fantastic and you've been supporting the channel and I really appreciate it. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, please leave a comment. Um, hit the notification bell if you can if you're a legend please share and uh, so I can uh, grow the channel I'm aiming to get a thousand subscribers by the end of the year so that would be massively appreciated and I appreciate all your support and uh, have a wonderful day everyone thank you